So you are in need of an Egyptian SIM card and you just wonder how can you get a SIM card in Egypt? Well, in this video, I will give you six steps to get yourself an Egyptian SIM card. And while we're not, I won't just tell you to get out your money and pay the salesperson. It's not that type of tutorial. Hi, it's Oru from Phone Travelers here, where we talk about everything related to traveling with your phone, like buying a SIM card in a particular country. And in this video, I will focus on six things you need to know about buying a SIM card in Egypt and then focusing on the buying process. So I will tell you what the operators are, SIM card prices, tourist SIM cards, where you can get your SIM card, and SIM card registration. So this is just the first step to get yourself on a GPS SIM card. If you want to learn more about coverage, internet packages, related taxes, stuff like that, then I have another video for you, which you can watch up there. And I also have videos specifically focusing on the operators, much more in depth. But here's your introduction guide to buying a SIM card in Egypt. But first, we need to know which operators we have here in Egypt. Well, we have four operators, which are Photophone Egypt, Orange Egypt, Etisalat Egypt and we by Telecom Egypt. So those are your operators ordered by size, meaning by the number of subscribers and market share. So what are the SIM card prices? How much do you have to pay for your SIM card? You can get an Egyptian SIM card starting from 20 EGP or Egyptian pound up to 60, no 76.56 EGP, which is a very specific number. So let's just say 77 EGP, which is a very large spectrum, but it really depends on the operator and the the type of SIM card you get. So let's just go to our SIM card options. With Vodafone Egypt, you can get the card El Korut. If I mispronounce stuff, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm trying at least. You can get your SIM card between 20 EGP up to 25 EGP. For Orange, you can get your SIM card from 20 EGP up to 70 EGP. 80 Salat, you can get an Alan SIM card, which is the regular prepaid SIM card for 20 EGP. And if you go for the data only SIM card, which is called Monges prepaid, you can get it for 10 EGP. And if you want to get a Wii, SIM card you can get it for 76.56 EGP which I wonder why one it's so expensive and two why such a number but hey it is how it is you can also decide to get yourself a tourist SIM card which are available for tourists or short-term visitors visiting Egypt and the price of these tourist SIM cards are often much higher than your regular SIM card prices that I just mentioned but most of these tourist SIM cards they already come with a package or a starter plan so that's why these prices are so much higher Let's Let's just go through the tourist SIM card options we have. With Vodafone you have the tourist line which starts from 250 EGP and you have two different plans which I'm showing you up the screen so that's why well, it starts so high. When we go to orange we have the orange holiday line which starts from 261.56 EGP again a very specific number and with 80 slots you actually do not get a starter pack so you can get your tourist or welcome line for 20 EGP and then pay the tourist line a tariff plan. I will talk about tariff plans a little bit later but then you can get one of these three travel packages and the thing with the welcome line is that it's only sold at specific airports or select airports okay now tariff plans well in Egypt all the operators they have so so many tariff plans I have not seen a country or at least until now a country that has so many operators that have so many different types of tariff plans you can find at least five different tariff plans except for we we only has one which is nice but the other ones they have like at least five or six well I'm not gonna go to all of these tariff plans right now because one well, that's boring and two it will take a long time so I will do that in the individual videos of these particular operators but I have already and I'm still showing you just an overview of the tariff plans they have and they mostly focus on minutes and SMS. Some of them come with international minutes or stuff like that. But if you plan on getting yourself an internet package, it doesn't really matter which tariff plan you choose. That's something to be aware of. This is only relevant if you want to make calls or send SMS within Egypt. Where can you actually get yourself a SIM card in Egypt? Well, you can go to the official stores of these operators. So there could be a photo food store, it is a orange or we. Actually, when you want to get a we SIM card, you have to go to a Telecom Egypt store because they don't have we stores so that's something to be aware of and you can also get your sim cards at at least from what i know three airports which are career international airport marsa alam international airport and 
heard got that international airport if <laughs> i probably butchered the name i'm pretty sure i did that i apologize there might be some other airports that also sell sim cards but i'm least aware that these three international sim no these international airports sell sim cards there and they will most likely try to sell you the two sim cards which are more expensive based on the price we saw but hey that's something to be aware of okay the last important thing to know for if you want to buy a sim card is sim card registration if you have been to other african nations or if you live in africa or the middle east because Egypt is part of Africa and the Middle East then you know that SIM card registration is like mandatory in all of Africa except for three countries and in the Middle East all of them except for one and the same applies in Egypt so when you try to buy yourself a SIM card make sure to bring your passport because they have to register your passport details and you also need to have an Egyptian address so let's say if you're visiting Egypt it could be the address of your, your hotel your hostel your Airbnb and if you're living in Egypt then of course the place you reside but for tourists and travelers you do not have to physically or legally reside there it can just be a short term state. They just need to have an Egyptian address. So if it's in Arabic, it's great. If it's in Roman characters, it's fine, but they prefer Arabic. So those are your six steps to getting yourself an Egyptian SIM card. As I said, this is just to get a SIM card in Egypt. If you want to learn more about the situation, the telecom situation in Egypt, I have a different video as well, which well, I already showed the eye of that, so I cannot show it again, but you can still click it there and find it there. If you want to learn more about the specific operators, so if you want to learn more about, let's say, Phone from Egypt or Insula Egypt, I also have a playlist up there with the individual videos. And yeah, that's what you need to know about how to buy a SIM card in Egypt. Once again, I'm Odo from Phone Travelers, where I talk about everything related to traveling with your phone, from buying local SIM cards, how to buy local SIM cards like this video, international roaming, phone travel tips, just everything related to traveling with your phone or just SIM cards in general. If that sounds like your thing, make sure to subscribe and make sure to also check out my blog at phonetravelers.com where I also have much more in-depth analysis and guides for buying SIM cards in places all over the world. That's it for today and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.